gorgeous Virgo. This is Debs and this of course is your bonus reading for Friday the 19th of April 2024. So Virgo, let's delve in and find out how your person feels about you. Let's hope there's some fresh energy coming in. The decks have all been cleansed. I've Paolo Santoed. I've done everything I can to ensure that this is a positive reading. Let's keep our fingers crossed. So the deck is the Marchetti deck. Everything you need, guys, is down below, including the link to my website if you'd like a private reading. All the decks, of course, and the link to join the channel if you'd like to become a member. So Virgo, let's see. Archangel Michael, thank you for joining us. This is the TGIF reading for my Virgos. This is their bonus reading. Oh, what jumped out? What jumped out? Okay. Wow. This is the bonus reading, Friday the 19th of April 2024. Somebody wants to work on transforming the connection, Virgo. Could be with you or this could be what you want to do. Okay. You may be wanting to work on a connection with a Scorpio or vice versa. Okay. Hmm. Or maybe you're putting a cycle to rest. That one wanted to be seen. Okay. All right, guys. So, yeah. Hmm. Virgo, you're coming out as a queen of coins. Queen of Pentacles, beautiful energy. It may well be, Virgo, that you are wanting to work on a connection with a Scorpio to transform the connection, or you're simply working on yourself having closed out a cycle. What are we doing, Michael? Putting them to one side. Okay. All right, guys, let's do this. The Magician. So your person, Virgo, sees you sitting in manifestation energy. Very powerful. Wow. Having, potentially, with the Ace of Swords, severed ties with the past. You've manifested an ending, Virgo. Okay. And this is you feeling victorious in doing so. My goodness. And you're healing. Now, for some of you, you closed out a cycle with someone, wasn't going anywhere. Okay. And this is you deciding to work on a connection with a Leo or an Aquarian. Maybe instead, right? Hmm. Yeah. And I feel, Virgo, you are in defense mode. You may be worried that someone is planning on sabotaging a new relationship because they're jealous. They wanted it to work with you. Okay. The moon. Cancerian energy. The hermit. Virgo, it's almost as if you're protecting your peace. You may have distanced yourself from a Cancerian or you've gone deep into introspection after ending a cycle with someone, ready to move forward with someone else. But you may be really worried, Virgo, that your ex is going to try and get you back or your ex is going to try and ruin this new relationship that you're wanting. It's as if, well, if they can't have you, no one else is going to. But I think, Virgo, you're turning your back on the past, moving to calmer waters. Beautiful. Yeah, and you're actually heading straight into a soulmate connection. Look at that. Ace of coins. You could even be thinking about relocation, Virgo. Hanging on to a brand new start with someone else. Chariot. Now you could be swiftly moving towards a Cancerian or you've left someone behind and you're hanging on to a new beginning. You're a little bit battle worn, Virgo. You may have got out of a toxic relationship and feel a bit depleted, but you're on your way. 
page of cups. I think Virgo, you are planning on moving towards someone to say, I'm sorry for not choosing you in the past, or I'm sorry I've taken my time, but I got wrapped up in a difficult situation and I needed time to heal, but I've realized that I want to be with you. So Virgo, you're closing out a cycle with someone. Oh God, I'm so sorry, I'm hearing psycho. Wow, have you closed out a cycle with a psycho? I shouldn't laugh, Virgo. And you're now swiftly deciding to move towards somebody else. Oh, OK. Could be connecting with a masculine Virgo or someone sat in their masculine energy. I'm hearing she's the one. She's the one. What was I doing? OK. So Virgo, underneath the deck. Oh, all right. Five of swords. Queen of wands. Virgo, you may have been dealing with a Queen of Wands who sabotaged the connection, manipulated you, played mind games. Could have been someone who just wanted a casual fling type situation. I think I'm connecting with a Virgo who was looking for a serious relationship and you were just being messed around by this Queen of Wands. She could have left you to date other people, I don't know. But I think, Virgo, you got fed up with this. Four of Cups is, I don't actually want this anymore. I don't want you anymore. This is just ridiculous. Yeah. And I think with a page of coins, you are going back to someone to sort of say sorry. <laughs> You're going back, Six of Cups, to someone to say, I'm really sorry, but um, I got caught up in a situation that left me very unhappy. And I want to be with you. Yeah, under the deck, Knight of Coins. So Virgo, you are approaching somebody from your past. It's taking a lot of strength for you to do this. But you're leaving behind a Queen of Wands who may have been quite manipulative. Okay. My beautiful Virgos, let's get some messages from the angels. Let's just see what the angels have to say. Okay. So Archangel Michael, what's the guidance from the angels, please, for Virgo? Yeah, I think what they're saying, Virgo, is you did the right thing in letting go of this Queen of Wands. Is that correct? Is that right, Michael? Yes. Wow. Yes. You did the right thing in letting go of this Queen of Wands. Yeah. Yeah. Take action. OK, what they're saying is, Virgo, don't waste any more time. If you were sort of seduced by this Queen of Wands and you left someone out in the cold, don't waste any time in going back to them. Back to this person that you left. Take action in the near future. So, Virgo, yeah, don't hang around is what the angels are saying. Yeah, because... Virgo, you want a healthy relationship, right? And I feel that this Queen of Wands may have drawn you into a toxic cycle. She could have been a karmic. And I feel the angels are saying, if you move towards this person in the past and say, I'm sorry, I got myself involved in something very toxic and complicated. I want to be with you now. What the angels are saying is they will be success in this new relationship. Okay, what else are they saying to Virgo? Listen to your intuition. So Virgo, this is a strong message from the angels to say, listen to your inner guidance, listen to your instinct, your gut feeling. If you feel, oh, I should go back to that person from the past, I know they were the one for me, I don't know why I got wrapped up with this Queen of Wands, then what the angels are saying is, yes, do it. Okay, wow. Virgo, let's have a look and see what you would want to say to this Queen of Wands. Because I feel as if, oh, I'm getting a really sticky energy, as if she doesn't want to let you go. She could have been quite clingy whilst possibly dating someone else or worst case, being in a relationship with someone else. So Virgo, let's see what she would want to say to you, okay? Because I feel as if... 
I'm, I'm seeing somebody trying to get a sticker off a packet of food and they just can't do it. It's left with this sticky patch on this packet. It may have been very difficult to get this woman out of your system for her go. And I shouldn't laugh, guys. She may have been trying to hang on to you. Yeah. Let's see what she wants to say to you. Hmm. I'm getting a really clingy energy. I don't know why. Yeah. Oh, wow. So, Virgo, this Queen of Wands may be stalking you. I look for you everywhere. I'm so attracted to you. Okay. I want to feel that way again. Just being near you is intoxicating. Oh my gosh. Virgo, have you got a kind of psycho stalker woman trying to cling on to you here? Yeah, okay. Virgo, she's not accepting that this is done. This is really difficult. She lied to you, manipulated you, sabotaged the connection. And now she's wanting to pull you back in. She's a bit obsessed, Virgo. She's a bit obsessed. She may realise that you've headed off and you're about to move towards somebody else. She doesn't like it. Yep, yeah. I feel you leaving me behind. Yeah, Virgo, stalker alert, I want you. Okay, she's not giving up. She may be stalking social media. She may be stalking you in person. I don't know, but you found out something which caused you to detach pretty damn quickly. And she is not allowing you to let her go. Whew. I regret lying to you. So she lied to you, Virgo, and that might have been the end of that. 14.44 on the clock, guys. I think this is a karmic soulmate. But Virgo, the angels are saying you did the right thing in letting her go. Yes, you should also take action in the near future pertaining to this person from the past that you want to communicate again with. It is going to be a healthy connection. You're going to feel a lot better about this. There will be success in that new relationship and follow your intuition. So guys, from here, let's move into the second reading. Let's see if things are going to work out with this new person. I'll see you there. All right, my lovely Virgos. This is the Witch's Tarot. Um, and let's see what's going to be happening in the future between you and this new person. So Archangel Michael, what is the future, please, between Virgo and this new person that they are returning to? Hmm, I should say past person, shouldn't I? Yeah. Energies for the future for my Virgos. Thank you, Michael. Yeah, I think, Virgo, this Queen of Wands is a stage five clinger. <laughs> Bit psychotic. Obviously lied to you, manipulated you and just can't cope. With the fact that you are moving on. Yeah. All right. Ace of Swords. Virgo, you know the truth about this Queen of Wands. And whatever the truth was caused you to make a decision to just cut the cord. Cut the cord. Wow. And we've got the Queen of Wands. Unreal. She's heavily in your energy, Virgo, still in the future. She could be watching you like a hawk, trying to seduce you back. Five of Wands. Okay, Virgo, she, she's going to want to talk to you again. You may not want anything to do with her, but she's going to try and talk to you again. Queen of Swords. She's in a really strange energy. It's as if I love you, but I hate you. Because maybe you dented her ego a little bit, Virgo, in the nicest sense. Yeah. She wants to know if it's truly over. She wants to know if you're coming back. 
I think, Virgo, you made it really clear that this was done. Hangman, you're seeing this Queen of Wands very differently now. Yeah, Five of Swords, you recognise the mind games and manipulation. And you also recognise, Virgo, that you've been self-sacrificing in this connection with her. Page of Wands. Virgo, she's all over your energy. Empress. Wow. All right. Virgo, I have a horrible feeling that she was in a relationship with someone else when you met her. And she doesn't want to lose. I'm sorry, I'm hearing her toy boy. Okay, she doesn't want to lose her toy boy, Virgo. I haven't heard that word for a long time. The star. Six of Pentacles. Virgo, she's coming in to tell you she's going to get divorced. She wants to heal the connection with you. She wants to move into the Ten of Cups with you. She loves you. Oh, my word. Okay. But with the Ten of Wands, Virgo, you're burdened because she may have lied to you before. This is you thinking, well, that's all very well, but how can I trust you now? And she may be uncomfortably obsessive, Virgo. I'm just getting this obsessive, psycho-type energy. Okay. Well, it looks as if she's, she is hanging on to your energy. What are you going to say to her, Virgo? The chariot. All right. I think what you're saying is, I've left the building. I, I've gone. Uh, why are you contacting me again? Why are you contacting me again? You hid who you truly were. Karma. Virgo, you may almost want her to receive karma. You're holding back. You're holding back. Yeah, Virgo. Yeah, you're saying no. Two of swords. She's not going to like it, Virgo. Because Virgo, high priest, this is the Hierophant. This is marriage. You're saying no because she's in this relationship and even though she's coming in to say I want to heal this connection with you six of pentacles I do want equal give and take I will get divorced ten of cups I love you knight of cups be with me ten of wands you're basically saying I don't think so what else are you saying Virgo my goodness guys yeah what you're saying Virgo is you've been looking at the past she may have lied to you Virgo for a long time you're looking at the past. Yeah, she hid her true status from you for quite a long time. Yeah. What was the moon all about, Michael? The emperor. No way. Yeah. She hid the fact that she had her husband sat at home. Empress, emperor. Empress, emperor. Yeah. Three of Swords, she broke your heart, Virgo, and I think you're just saying to her, I'm sorry, but I'm really done. King of Swords, I'm sorry, I'm just done. I'm just done. Underneath the deck, Nine of Swords. This situation stressed you out so much, Virgo, but you're moving to calmer waters with the Six of Swords. You're getting yourself together, King of Pentacles. With the energy of the Six of Wands, Virgo, you are planning on victory and success. Page of Pentacles. Virgo, you're planning on reaching out to talk to someone about a new relationship. This is somebody from your past. Yeah, the sun. This is somebody who made you very happy in the past, Virgo. And this is you thinking, I can't believe I wasted my time like that with this Queen of Wands. She's going to pursue you, Virgo, but I think you've made up your mind. And when a Virgo makes up their mind, that's it. That really is it. 
So guys, a challenging read. Um, Virgo, let's see what's going to happen between you and this new woman. Because I want to get out of this Queen of Wands energy. Wow, she's a, she's a bit clingy. Okay, Knight of Pentacles. Virgo, you are going to swiftly move towards another woman. Oh, High Priestess. So she could be a Pisces or a Cancerian. She has no idea, Virgo, that you're about to show up. nine of cups but what you're realizing is this is the person that you should be putting time and energy into yeah the hermit what you're going to say to her is look i've done a lot of thinking and i don't know what i was doing hanging on to this queen of wands but i found out a few things and i quickly detached what's her reaction virgo the world, she's going to be shocked because she thought, Virgo, I believe that this was done. Two of Wands, okay. Virgo, you're going to be honest. You're going to say to this woman that you had to make a decision that was quite difficult. What's her reaction? She could be sat in the Nine of Pentacles, pre empress energy, Virgo, or she may want to check that you're single. What energy she's sat in? Temperance. She's very calm in her energy. The Wheel of Destiny. She may almost feel as if this was meant to be, but she's very nervous. What's her energy? Mm. She's going to work on this with you, Virgo, but she's a bit consumed with work. She may feel she isn't ready to put a lot of energy into this because of what happened in the past. So if you want to go back to this woman, Virgo, you're going to need to take it really slowly, really slowly. Even though the angels are saying take action now in communicating with her, once you've done that and you two have reconnected, then I think they're saying just cool it down, right? Just cool it down. So my lovely Virgos, um, let's get some messages from the universe. Archangel Michael, what's the guidance, please, from the universe for Virgo? The guidance for Virgo. Clean it up. So Virgo, you want to embrace change. You're moving back towards this woman that you met. But you may need to sort of clean up that connection because you may have left her disappointed upset that sort of thing mm. the fates so what the angels are saying is you are actually supposed to be with this woman from the past not this queen of wands okay flexible Virgo, you will have to be flexible in this relationship, okay? She's not going to drop everything and say, okay, Virgo, how do you want to do this? When do you want to see me? I'm going to clear my schedule. I'm going to work around you. No, Virgo, you're going to have to be the flexible one. You're going to have to prove that you're happy to compromise. You're happy to chill. You're happy to wait, right? Peace. And if you can do that, Virgo, if you can compromise and be flexible, this will end up being a beautiful, peaceful relationship. Yes. So, guys, let's, as always, get a final message from Archangel Michael. Archangel Michael, what is your closing message of guidance, please, for my lovely Virgos? Thank you, Michael. Go forward fearlessly, Virgo. Thank you for walking with me every step of the way, for holding my hand, giving me confidence and courage and guiding my thoughts and actions in the direction of love and my true life's purpose. Virgo, forge forward confidently. Okay, beautiful. 
So guys, I'm leaving the reading there. Have a wonderful weekend, whatever you're up to. Take care of you. And of course, I'll be back before you know it with your next set of readings. See you then. Bye, guys.